Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. In this tutorial we are gonna see how to transform a normal picture to a beautiful one. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Now click on Controller Command, Shift A. To open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows. And decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit, since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Hit on OK, once you're done. Select the background layer, and click on Ctrl-Command Command-J to duplicate a layer. So in this tutorial these are the most important steps, so please do watch carefully. We usually work on RGB mode in Photoshop, many might know this, some might not. Now we are gonna change the mode from RGB to lab for a short period of time, to apply orangish tone on the image. Ok let's do. Click on the background layer. Go to image. Click on mode. Change the mode to lab color. Click on don't flatten. Near the layer tab, you can see a channel tab, click on that. There you can see four different layers. Now we are gonna copy paste a layer's data to another layer. Let's do. Select layer B, and click on Ctrl A you can see the lines running around the layer. Now click on Ctrl C, to copy that layer. Click and select on layer A and paste the data by clicking on Ctrl V, you can see the changes on the gray layer once you paste it. Click on Ctrl D to make the line disappear. Now click on the lab layer to see the color changes. So after this we have to change the mode of the image from lab to RGB. So go to image. Click on mode. Click on RGB. Click on Don't Flatten. So this process is done. Now we can do our normal workflow to bring this picture to be a beautiful one. The skin turned to be orangish let's decrease it by layer masking. Decreasing the density of the layer mask to look natural. Ok this is fine. Let's tone up the skin. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. Adjusting the reds and yellows to tone up the skin. Let's change the white to blue shade. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer and adjusting the whites. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer. Click on Shift, F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the Gray Layer Blending Mode to Soft Light. Select the Brush Tool, Masking Colors Black and White. Brush Setting Opacity 100%, Flow 1% or Changeable accordingly. Now select white and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning. Burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn.
If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Now let's move on to separation of the subject from the background. Open a new level adjustment layer. Increase shadows a bit. Now select the brush tool and start brushing out the subject from the dark using a layer mask. Ok we are done with this step. Let's darken around the subject. Open a new layer. Select black. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 10% approximately. Start brushing smoothly around the subject. Ok let's add some petals to our picture. I've given this petals picture link on the description below. Selecting the petals using a quick selection tool, ok these are fine. Copy these using Ctrl C and paste it in our picture using Ctrl V. Now let's match up the colors of the petals. Opening a new Hues Adjustment layer. Adjusting the hues to match it to our picture. Ok this is fine. Let's blur it to create a falling effect around the subject. Go to Filter. Blur. Motion Blur. Ok this will be fine. Hit on OK once you're done. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Select the topmost layer and click on Ctrl or Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. Now click on Ctrl or Command, Shift A to open Camera Raw. Let's now boost up the image using Camera Raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. Ok now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image. I'm looking for a reddish green color. Ok this is fine for me. Click on the radial filter and make a circle around the subject. This will create a depth around the subject by making the background darker. We can adjust the darkness from basic settings as needed. Ok this is fine. Let's crop the image for Instagram. Click on C to crop the picture. Select 5x4 and adjust the frame as you like and hit on enter to crop. 
We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.